Hello everyone, the Chart Guys have been working on an introductory technical analysis course for quite some time now, and after surveying hundreds of traders with what would be the most sought after information regarding technical analysis, we came up with this course, When to Enter and Exit. It covers over five hours of the basics on when to enter and exit, and we feel after watching this course, it will help build a foundation of technical analysis knowledge, which will eliminate a lot of the uncertainty in the world of trading stocks. So the course outline, we go over the psychology of trading, establishing a game plan, the different indicators we use to signal a bullish and bearish entry, how to recognize support and resistance levels, poor entries where traders make mistakes, exit targets, how do you know where to sell your trade, where to place stop losses, that's very important, minimizing losses is what keeps you in the game long term, my personal preparations, how I go about getting ready for each trading day, and then piecing it all together, utilizing all the information we just learned and how to apply that in the real world for making successful, profitable trades. As a bonus, we also include a lot of information on finding entries and exits utilizing patterns. And you can find these patterns on every time frame on pretty much any stock and commodity trading. And certainly being able to recognize those patterns can give you an edge as well. So we hope you will check this out. Again, it's an introductory level course. So if you are new to technical analysis and trying to get a firm grasp on things and seeming feeling a little bit overwhelmed, then this course is for you. I hope you check it out. Appreciate you watching. Looking at natural gas here, starting with the hourly. So in the video yesterday, we had not bounced yet. We knew a bounce was coming. We were watching the 10 hour moving average resistance. So it became support. We saw that bounce play out. New resistance at 3228. Let's put a resistance line there. And we pulled back and we're trying to form a higher low now down at 315. So that's the current range to be watching, but we can see the bears are still in control. Weakness by the bulls. That's not a very strong bounce. It was just cooling off the technicals. And we're watching this channel because I would anticipate some bearish further downside. Obviously we have the inventory report tomorrow, which is going to be a catalyst. And we could see further downside because the daily chart clearly broke the uptrend, higher low, lower high pattern. Now we had our lower low. A bounce attempt with a big upper wick shows weakness. And we're looking down at support. 311 was the lowest price we hit. And then 311, a double bottom with that previous low down here. So we're watching 311 support is very key going forward. There's a gap to fill down here at 3024. So that's a level we will be watching if 311 breaks. But that is a very important support level going forward of 311. And if we get a bearish reaction to the inventory report and we break that support, the bears are going to see some nice gains. So bears have been in control for a few days now. And UNG seeing a little bit of upside on that oversold bounce. But at this point to me, it looks like it could be a bear flag, which comes after a big drop and then a weak short-term bounce cooling off those technicals before continuation to the downside. So support here is 779 and 773. And if we break those levels, I would be looking down at this gap of 754. Weekly time frame, 50 week moving average support is 784. If we close this week below that level, there's a gap on the weekly down at 755. So keeping an eye on the bears, the bears are in control of natural gas. Bulls really need a turnaround with a catalyst on a surprise inventory report, as a lot of people are expecting bearish due to weather and a bunch of the fundamentals. But technically speaking, bears are in control, weak bounce attempt. And we'll see if we get a break of 311 and another leg to the downside tomorrow. So that's what we're going to be watching. We will check back in after the inventory report. And it's all about 311 from here, whether you're a bull or a bear. So I hope you have a great night. See you tomorrow.